In order for the Florida Department of Transportation's State Road 79 designed build project to become a precisely constructed four-lane roadway spanning from Mill Branch Bridge in Washington County to Interstate 10 in Holmes County, contractors are frequently working on several individual concurrent construction operations. One example is the creation of a French drain in Phase C, the northernmost six-mile section of the overall 20-mile project. A French drain is designed to work the exact opposite of a drain field and a septic system. Whereas a septic drain field allows water to disperse and seep into the ground, this French drain system draws and transports groundwater away from the roadway, helping to keep moisture from deteriorating and undermining the roadbed over time. Meanwhile, also in Phase C, subgrade soils are being mixed and combined by a mixer. This powerful machine tills and mixes select material to ensure a tight, compact, and durable base several steps in advance of the eventual smooth, skid-resistant asphalt surface layer that roadway motorists most easily recognize. And just south of these two operations, in Phase B, which is expected to be the next section to be completed, grassing of the shoulders is taking place. Contractors deliver and offload 100 foot rolls of sod from semi-truck trailers using a forklift. Other crew members then pick up the rolls of grass with a skid steer machine and then unroll it quickly and efficiently. Grassing unpaved areas like shoulders and ditches aid in the prevention of soil erosion. Inside the city limits of Vernon in Phase D, a crew uses a small excavator to install and then cover up an 8-inch water main pipe. This new water piping infrastructure will deliver clean water to residents alongside the new road through the city. These are just a few examples of individual construction operations that often take place simultaneously as contractors are always working toward the ultimate goal of completing the State Road 79 designed build project by December of 2018. You can follow the progress of the State Road 79 designed build project on Facebook and Twitter or for more information contact the Florida Department of Transportation District 3 Public Information Office.